Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. This is our opportunity to get our minds aligned with the truth of God's Word today. My name is Kerry Green. If you're new to The Morning Mindset, welcome. I'm so glad you're taking the time to get your mind aligned with God's truth. We're going to be looking today at the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 22 through 24. And Jesus is going to reveal to us how we can be closer to God than we can even imagine. Stop for a moment and try and imagine that. (laughs) That's what we're going to learn about today. But before we do, I want to invite you to contact me. I love to hear from listeners. I love to know something about your life and understand how I can be praying for you. I do specifically weekly pray for listeners who have asked me to pray for them. So please email me. My address is Kerry, C-A-R-E-Y, at kerrygreen.com. I would love to hear from you. Okay, get out your copy of the scriptures. We're going to be looking at the Gospel of John, chapter 14, 22 through 24. Jesus is having a conversation with his 11 disciples. One of them, Judas Iscariot, has just gone off to betray him. And so there's only 11 of them in the room. They're speaking about things that are about to happen as Jesus is arrested, as he's crucified, and then as he rises from the grave. And Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, so stop for a minute just to make sure we're clear. Jesus had two disciples named Judas. Judas Iscariot is the one who just went out and is seeking a way to betray him. This Judas is a different Judas, just to be clear. John's making sure we know that. He asks, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world. So Jesus just told them that those who obey me will have me manifested to them in a way the world cannot see. And so Judas is a little confused. He's thinking Jesus is going to appear in some way that they can see him with their eyes, but the rest of the world will not see him. So he's he's wanting to know, how does that work? Jesus is talking about a different kind of of manifesting of himself, a different kind of making himself known to them. He's talking about a spiritual relationship with him that's going to happen on the inside and an evidence of his presence in their lives that they're going to be able to see through their own actions. And Judas doesn't quite get that. So here's Jesus' answer in verse 23. Jesus answered him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. So he's saying, in answer to your question, Judas, the reason the world won't see me when I manifest myself is that they don't obey me. And they don't obey me because they don't love me. You see, there's something about our obedience to what Jesus teaches us that reveals him to us in a new way. And one way I've come to think of this is that as I obey Jesus, I'm actually putting into practice things he taught to be true. And as I see the results of my actions confirm what he said to actually be true, then I come closer to him. I draw near to him and my heart resonates with his. My faith is encouraged. I believe what he said even more and our relationship is thereby strengthened. I hope that makes sense to you. Jesus goes on in verse 24. He says, whoever does not love me does not keep my words. So the world you asked about Judas isn't going to see me because they don't love me. They're not keeping my words. They're not going to have that kind of a A plus B equals C experience that I just described. And he says, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the father's who sent me. So friends, Jesus is pulling in, in this broader context, the Father, Himself, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And He's drawing a picture of how we commune with God. We can become closer to Him than we ever imagined possible. And it comes because of Jesus, His death, His burial, His resurrection, then because of our faith in Him, in all those things He accomplished, and then in our obedience to apply what he said, so that we see the truth of it. And then we draw close to him personally, because we're receiving in our own spirits that confirmation that who he is and what he said is absolutely true. And we draw closer to God than we could even imagine. 
So Lord God, open our hearts and our minds to understand this better. Show us the, how to connect the dots between our love for you and our obedience to what you instruct. And then our knowledge of you and our relationship with you that flows out of that. Give us encouragement today as we apply these things. Give us strength and power as we seek to love others as you would have us love them. And empower us to know you in a deeper, more real way than we've ever known before in the days and weeks ahead. Lord, we ask these things in your name and for your glory to advance your kingdom. And don't forget that Morning Mindset Media also provides other podcasts, including a Christian parenting podcast, a Christian marriage podcast, and soon a Christian history podcast. You can find out more at morningmindsetmedia.com.